But there's been an American nightmare that has accompanied that, and that's where people that equally have tried to get educated and worked hard and had good habits have found themselves living a life that's been on the edge throughout their entire lives and the same for their children. As Warren Buffett said here, many Americans have been living the American nightmare instead of the American dream. Take a look at this. Did you know that 58% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck? That means whenever you go to the grocery store, 60% of the entire store is struggling to make ends meet and is barely able to properly afford their groceries. The sad reality is that it doesn't matter where you live as it affects the entirety of America. Here's a surprise though. Being broke doesn't have anything to do with how much you make. There have been cases of people who've grown six-figure accounts with a minimum wage job and have a family. But there's another side to the coin. There are people who make over $100,000 salaries and still live paycheck to paycheck, and it's all by choice. In fact, Warren Buffett is someone who's built up his wealth with very little to boot. We all need money to survive, and that's why we work. And in the famous words of Warren Buffett, if you don't learn to make money while you sleep, you'll work until you die. If you want to stop drowning in debt, live the life you want to live, and help the people around you, you need to figure this out. I've done a lot of research on how Warren Buffett got rich and found something surprising. It turns out he has five key things that are keeping people poor, and I'm going to share them with you today. And it all starts with having a zero balance. Number one, zero balance. Let's say you have $50 in your bank account. Normally, when you think you have $50 in your bank account, you also have $50 to spend, right? Well, this may backfire big time. My advice to you is, uh... If you can't pay for it, don't buy it and uh, get yourself in a position where you can pay for anything. And uh, then we'll be glad to see it at Shimes or the Nebraska Furniture Mart. As Warren Buffett says here, don't buy what you can't afford. Just because you have $50 doesn't mean you can afford to spend $50. This is exactly what zero balance thinking is. Zero balance thinking is the killer of wealth. It's also why income isn't what determines whether you are broke or rich. For instance, Warren Buffett lives a lifestyle of around 100K a year, even though he's the fifth richest person in the world. And on the flip side, if you make 40K a year and spend 40K a year, you're still broke. If you make 100K a year and spend 100K a year, you're still broke. What you need to do is make sure to take some of your paychecks and put it into savings, so you are prepared for emergencies and investments so your money can start growing over time. I mean, take a look at how long it's been since Warren Buffett invested in his first stock. On this March 11th, in a couple of weeks, it'll be 77 years since I bought my first stock. And I paid $114.75 for three shares of City Service Preferred. But let me share an example with you to help clarify zero balance thinking. I had a coworker who I used to be close with. They were pretty keen on fashion and often wore nice pieces of clothing. We received a nice stimulus check that year for about $250 because the company was doing really well. When I talked to my coworker about it, they said that they would use the check to buy a new pair of pants. You heard that right. They took their entire stimulus check to buy a new pair of pants, as opposed to making use of it to grow their wealth. However, some of you may be wondering how you can avoid this type of thinking. There's one simple rule to follow. It's called the rule of five. If you can't afford five of the items you want to buy with cash, then you can't afford it at all. That means if you had $50, you could only buy something that costs $10. It's important not to make this more complicated than it has to be. And in the words of Warren Buffett, I don't look to jump over seven foot bars. I look around for one foot bars that I can step over. Don't make your path to wealth harder than it needs to be and avoid zero balance thinking. But there's one hidden aspect to spending that gets overlooked. Just like being a net buyer of food, I expect to buy food the rest of my life, and I hope that food goes down in price tomorrow. When stocks are down, we're going to be buying on balance, and who wouldn't rather buy it, uh, you know, at a lower price than a higher price? Number two, payment traps. Warren Buffett makes it so obvious, but if you're not careful, low prices can turn against you. A lot of people who look rich really aren't rich, but they just look rich. They have very expensive things, and it makes you wonder how on earth they can afford that and you can't. Well, Warren Buffett has to say this about those who look rich. Only when the tide goes out do you discover who's been swimming naked. In other words, 
When you really look into things, you see who's really rich and who isn't. The truth is that they can't afford it, but they think they can. For example, let's say someone you know bought a Mercedes recently. It's a beautiful car, and they only have $350 in monthly payments for it. However, just because they can afford $350 in monthly payments doesn't mean they can afford it brand new with cash up front. In other words, they can't afford it. What this leads to is the illusion that you can spend more money than you actually have because you're not paying huge sums for the items you do have, like $41,000 for a new Mercedes. One particular area you'll see this a lot is with zero APR deals. At this point, you can buy almost anything with a zero APR rate and pay in monthly installments. For instance, an inflatable kayak on Amazon that costs between $150 and $300 can be put in monthly installments of $20 to $30 a month. These installments can make you think like you can afford way more items, but you end up having to pay the full amount back anyway. And when you have to pay for not just a car at $350, but a couch at $75 a month, and plenty of other items in your home, on top of things like credit card debt, you'll be broke forever. The other one is from people who run up credit card debt and uh, they're facing bankruptcy or they've been through bankruptcy once before and they owe a whole bunch of money and they can't, they can't even pay the interest, let alone pay any principal. And half of my letters come from people like that and that, that, that problem is avoidable. So don't get caught in payment traps designed to keep you broke. But what do you do when you avoid payment traps? Number three, compounding. Once you've overcome payment traps and the zero balance mindset, you can focus on compounding your money. Compounding is the magical effect that takes money and grows it at an exponential rate. When we get chances to deploy the capital, we've, we've always tried to make any entity, whether it was the partnership originally or the or Berkshire <coughs> now or blue chip snaps when we owned it or, or even diversified retail, we, we wanted them all to be compounding, in effect be compounding machines. However, if you want your money to grow using this magical effect, you'll need to learn two words that Warren Buffett knows better than anyone. What could it be? Assets are things you own that put money in your pocket, and liabilities are things you buy that take money out of your pocket. So, assets are things like dividend-paying stocks or real estate, whereas liabilities are the car you own, the clothes you buy, or a new cell phone. What broke people do is buy things that make them look rich. But since they are liabilities, they're not truly rich. When you flip this around and start focusing on buying assets, you can truly become rich. In fact, you can become so rich that you can easily buy liabilities since the assets you own generate so much cash that you can afford those liabilities with cash. This will become easier to understand with an anecdote. I knew someone who was doing really well financially and was looking for their next steps. They thought about buying a new car that would make them look really cool, and one that they've always wanted. However, they were also very interested in personal finance and what they could do to grow their wealth. They read several books and always found that rich people owned real estate. Even Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger did. We, we both had a fair amount of experience in real estate, and Charlie made his early money in real estate. So, my friend decided to buy a small apartment complex instead, and after a month of getting the place ready to rent, they got a tenant and started making $300 profit every single month. This is a perfect example of how an asset generates cash and how a liability, while looking cool, gives nothing back. The greatest part is that you don't have to have tons of cash to get started with building compounding effects. Real estate is expensive, but you can buy assets like stocks that are given dividends with as little as $5 a day, $5 a week, or even $5 a month you can do as much as you're comfortable with. One thing to note is that assets aren't the same as keeping your money in a savings account. A savings account will barely grow your money with your earned income. This is income that you work hard for, and that you can't work hard forever, and you probably don't want to either. You deserve to have the freedom to do what you want. To do that, you need your money to work for you and grow, and that's just what assets do. The more money you have in assets, the faster it'll grow, and the faster you'll get rich. One simple rule to use compounding effectively is the 5 to 1 rule. That means for every $5 you spend on liabilities, $1 goes into assets. If you spend $15 at Walmart, then you invest $3 into Walmart. If you spend $80 at Costco, 
then you invest $16 in Costco. Number 4. Flashy Lifestyle The sad reality is that social media hypes things up a lot. They show tons of people who look rich, but are really not rich at all. In fact, there have been several stories of people who have incurred thousands of dollars of debt just to look good on Instagram. It's a simple fix, but avoid the flashy lifestyle. Take a look at Warren Buffett. No one ever sees a brand on his suits. He eats cheap, and he lives in the very first home he bought. Yet, look how rich he is. You can follow in his footsteps and find the things that actually matter in your life, and at the same time, build up wealth. There's one more integral thing you need to do to grow your wealth fast. Number 5. Step Ahead While we can sit here and make excuses saying that businesses are evil because they all want your money, the truth is, we're all trying to survive, and that's just how the world works right now. The issue here is that you all have a choice to buy or not buy, and most people just don't have a filter. They buy things they don't need just because they want them. When you can develop a filter and not buy things just because you have the urge, you'll notice how much richer you feel. With that extra money, you start investing. And as you see your money grow, you want it to grow faster. Now, you start thinking of ways to increase your income, and this is where you, as a saver and investor, hop on the other side and start figuring out how to be a producer like the businesses you buy from. This is so you can generate more cash flow since you now understand how the game works. Maybe you'll just work extra hours at your workplace and focus on getting a promotion. Or you'll start a side hustle like freelancing or a micro business. Either way, you look to bring in more money so you can buy more assets and grow your wealth as quickly as possible so you can finally do the things that matter most to you. What matters is preparation. Predicting rain doesn't count. Building arcs does. Warren Buffett